fundamentals are going to be the piano part that's doing the octaves. Right? And we've got bass and some of this like synth ringing thing. Ooh, right? Um, and then we've got guitar. Just like the one that's going on in the background. Lots of stomps, claps, tambourines, stuff like that. And we got some big old background vocals. Hey everyone, I'm Jordan. Uh, I've been able to help out with the recording and some music production for a couple of the songs that the Believe page has released. Uh, today we're going to break down one or two of those songs just to see how it works and maybe hear a couple of things that you didn't know were actually in the track itself. I see you in the days gone by. All right, so this one is Days Gone By. Now this one uh, took a couple iterations before we actually got it right. The first iteration was a little uh, on the rock side. Um, which, after we've been working on it for a few hours, uh, the elders who were in charge of the video came up and were like, this isn't matching at all the vision for the video. So we had to completely scratch it, but just so you guys can hear what it was sounding like before, this is kind of what it sounded like. You took my fragile fate and didn't hesitate Your love in every scar Yeah, just completely different from what it actually sounds like. Uh, so at that same spot, but in the newer version, this is, you know, what it came out to be a little Days gone by. You took my fragile fate and didn't hesitate. Your love in every scar. Passion with no restraint held back. So anyway, that's kind of where we ended up taking it instead. So some interesting things that maybe you wouldn't be able to hear. We snuck in some keys in there. The, one of the elders had some keys that were jingly. So I, I took them from him and put them into one spot. If you can hear that, I'll try that again. Very minimal, but so uh, Rise of the Drums come in on second verse, so I'll play it in context. Passion with no restraint, help back So there's that part. Okay, uh, another thing on here is just kind of how many layers it takes to really get that full sound. Um, just guitar wise alone, we've got, I'll kind of start it off a little bit by a little bit. So like during the chorus, we've got the main guitar part. And then if you add the little bit more tinny ones on the sides, then we've got electric. And then a nylon strings, which is more down the center. Um, yeah, so little hidden things in there, but it always takes a ton of layers to be able to get that full sound. Alright, so this is the commission, which I'm sure you'll hear little snippets of. Part that is like the ending whenever it's really, really big, and you know, Elder Ingham's like, Go tell the world about me. Very cool part. Um, the bass does this little thing that I kind of boost in it. I love it. Right here. Love that. That was by my friend Dan Eckberg. But little things like that, that maybe you didn't know were in there. But maybe it's just for me. Maybe it's just for God. So, uh, and then also at the very end, uh, we had this, all the missionaries sing together in like our living room, kind of like a chorus kind of a thing, which I think is cool too. But in the mix. Anyway, those are my favorite parts of the commission. The thing I love about music is how personal it is. Um, and I mean, it's just, it's not about 
maybe just the experience of showing it to other people. Um, but the, the times that I really, really feel passionate about music is whenever I'm just driving in my car by myself, listening to an album. And I'm sure everyone has experienced this. You just find a song that you love so much and it's so meaningful to you and you want to share it with someone. So you finally share it with someone and you're like, oh, isn't this amazing? And they're like, yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And you're like, no, no, no. It is like the best song in the world. Like, I don't think you understand. Um, but that's how it works is music is one of those really personal things and I relate that too to the same thing like your relationship with God it's a really personal experience um, and that's there's not many things in life that you can really relate that closely to a relationship with deity as being so personally experienced that sometimes even describing it to other people it's, it's hard to put it even into words um, so I really do believe that music is something that is inspired it's, it's a gift from God that we have to you know uh, use in ways that help edify us, help lift us up. I mean, it has a huge impact on us. Um, so if music has played some role in your life to feel closer to God, uh, please comment below. We'd love to be able to hear about it and reach out to the Believe page to see how you can find more inspiration in your life.